Haley Squad. Nah, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. You guys, today, well, tonight, I'm gonna. I was um, looking online and I saw some vulnerable questions. And I decided to make a video and answer some of them. Give you a little insight on how I think my brain, the way I perceive things, my perspective on things. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be answering vulnerable questions. And I'm gonna pick some good ones too. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. Cause your girl is asleep. But I want to make y'all a video before I went to bed. So here we go. First question. What emotion do you feel most often? Right now, um, it's a mixture. <laughs> Like I'm at peace, I'm happy, but you know. Well, that's what I feel most of the time. I'ma leave it at that. Yeah. Um, the next question I'ma answer is, what's the worst thing you've done to someone? Unless you're counting leaving them, nothing. Yeah, I'm not a vengeful person. Not unless you want to camp cussing somebody out. Because that's something that I need to work on. I'm a, I'm a sailor cusser. I know I look innocent and you may not believe it. But your girl's a cusser. <laughs> uh, hmm. What do you most like about yourself? The one thing I like about myself is also my flaw. I think I miss this all the time. I, well, there's two things I really like about myself. I like my eyes. I like my s smile. <laughs> my smile and my eyes. And if I could pick a third one, it would be my, my thighs. Would you like to be famous in what way or for what? It's like not to the point of being famous, but to the point where I can let my mama enjoy herself for the remainder of her life on this earth. Because that's my plan anyway, to just shower her with vacations and, you know, money and, you know. Yeah. So it's like Yes and no to that question. Like, I'm going to be the one that turned down the TV shows and stuff. I don't want to be on TV. But I answer some questions behind the scene. But I know that's, like, impossible to do. Well, not impossible, but... This is helping me get out of my shell making videos, which I love doing, which is a shock. So yeah, I would want to be famous. In what way or for what? Probably TikTok, YouTube. Uh, with whom do you have the best connection in your family and why? I'm going to say my mom because me and my mom been together basically my whole life. <laughs> like, I didn't move out. I stayed with her for as long as I could, even when she didn't want me. <laughs> it was a reason why, trust me. Me and my mom could live together for eternity and just be at peace with each other. But it's kind of difficult when you have kids, too. So, yeah. I would say it's my mom. And why? Because I don't know. It's just that connection. We talk about every day. I could tell her anything. And she's so supportive. She's so 
caring. She's so giving. She's so loving. She's just a, a great person, period. And she's her, uh, I can't, I ain't gonna say that. But she's just, she's the ideal mom, like, for me. God placed her in my life because he knew I was going to need her. So, my mom. What do I value most in a friendship? Honesty and loyalty. And I'm going to say this. If I'm friends with you and you have another friend and you don't know how to be loyal between us, I would prefer you to cut me loose. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> uh, how do you hope you'll change as a person in the future? Oh, that's a good one. I hope, which is what I'm working on now, that I'll be able to stand up and really say how I feel and what I think because a lot of my problems growing up even till now recently I hold things in and I try and I try and I try to make things work and in the future I want to know how where well, I want to be able to say no when it's time to say no I want to be able to call it quits when it's time to call it quits because I'm the type of woman I, I hold on until the end. And to, until the end, I will hold on. But it's not good because it it, it, it affect, affected me in a way that I didn't want it to affect me. Like, it's just not good to hold on to things that you need to let go because you make yourself miserable. So in the future, I pray that if I ever have to endure and go through something like I have in the past, that I'll be able to be like, okay, now this is not going right. It's not working for me. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits. So yeah, I just wanna be more bold in what I feel and what I think and not afraid to voice my opinion. Now, this is really a vulnerable question. I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to tell you. It says, what's the, uh, what's the, um, uh, what was the question? Uh, what's my biggest insecurity? My biggest insecurity are... <laughs> my arms i think i've mentioned it before it's my biggest insecurity my arms it's like i can't wait to be able to get surgery and get them you know taken away it's like to me it's like of course i'm a healthy girl i'm a you know big girl but my arms to me make me look bigger than what I am. It may sound crazy to you guys, but it's it's just something that, you know, I'm insecure about my arms. I'm getting a little better at it, but it's like seeing other women that have big arms. It's like my arms are the size of a person that's like really, really bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? It's like Say I'm 223, which I'm not that big. I'm just short. <laughs> I'm not I'm like too far from me, though. I have to tell the truth. Let's say I'm 217. That's close. <laughs> and, like, my arms are the size of a person that will be maybe close to 400 pounds, maybe. I know it sounds crazy, and y'all would love for me to show you guys, but no <laughs> but yeah that's my insecurity my arms um yeah my arms 
what makes you look down on other people. I don't look down on other people. I wasn't raised like that, so I can't see myself. Now, I'll snare my nose up at your ass every once in a while, but that don't mean I'm looking down on you. It just means you did something stupid. What do you think makes other people look down on you? Probably my facial expressions because I look mean half the time. What they say, the bitch face? I think I have the bitch face. But not not lately, not that much. Because I love customer service and I love dealing with people so I can't look mean all the time. But there have been times where they'll be like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. It's just that when I'm working, I'm in the, you know what I'm saying, in, in the zone. So I have to be cautious of my facial expressions. So yeah. But I, I don't know how many questions I'm asked. I have answered y'all. What is the personal quality of which you're most ashamed? That's a very interesting question. Personal quality of which you're most ashamed? Probably my singing. Like, I'm not ashamed of it, but it's like, nowadays, if you're not making a bunch of runs, which is easy to do, by the way. <laughs> runs is the most easiest thing to do. It's like, if you're trying to put a message out and you're singing because you... I'm, I'm the type of person when I sing, it's my praise. And I think I mentioned this before, too. It's my praise and I like singing to God. And it's like, I'm not worried about what... The people around me are. I'm singing to touch somebody and I'm singing to really minister to them. And I haven't sung in a long time and I miss it. I really do miss it. But yeah, it's uh, my singing. It's not that I'm ashamed of it, it's just that in today's society, they don't cook. See, I like the old school. There's a leak in this old beauty. See, I'm an old school singer, but everybody is so off into the, you know, they off into all that. And it's like, uh, to me, everything doesn't need a run. That part. I'm answering two more questions, y'all, because I'm sleepy. Would you want to be a parent? Why? How would you want to raise a kid? Oh, that's a good question. Because I became a parent at the age of 15. Did I want to be a parent? Yes, I did. Not that young though, but I've always, even as a little girl, it was just, I just always wanted kids. And I, um, I wanted six. <laughs> I wanted six kids, but I got four. And I wanted three boys and I wanted a girl. God blessed me with exactly what I wanted. Three boys and a girl. And why I've answered that? Because I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to be a mom. It was no particular reason. No particular reason. How would you want to raise a kid <laughs> better than I did? And I'm, I'm only saying it because we can always do better. I didn't do a lot of things right. I didn't. And I wish I could go back and change a whole lot of things that I did wrong. But I can't. Uh, and then I used to be like, I'm going to try to make up and do this and do that. I learned that I'm not going to... Mm -mm. I'm not doing that. It is what it is. You made it through it. We all made it through it. So <laughs> I'm not going to break my neck trying to please them now. They're grown. My youngest is 21. He'll turn 21 next month. So I'm not breaking my neck to try to do some things now. And they've grown. To me, they need to be trying to do some things for me. But, yeah, how would I want it to have raised them? 
a lot of things that I did, I wouldn't do. I would. Well, they was raised in church. So, it's like, how I wanted to raise them, I did. So, that's okay. That's, that's you know. We are, we don't get it right all the time. Uh, this question, should you seek power? Yes, you should, because you're going to need some power to deal with what's going on in this world today. So, yes, you should seek it. You definitely should seek it. And I, I have to seek it every day because I have to seek power to, to stand on what I'm going through now. I have to seek power to... deal with life power to say no power to do right power to accomplish things you, you, you need power especially the power of God seek it yeah I definitely yeah so you should seek it okay I'm, I think I said I was going to answer two more questions y'all I done went all the way okay I'm going to find one more <laughs> All this, well, whom do you have the best connection? I already answered that. I already answered that. How do you hope you change as a person in the future? How do I, how do you assign self-worth? I'm going to end it with that question. How do I assign self-worth? Um, I'm still working on that question, honestly, because at 46, I just realized my worth. That's because I was with someone for half my life. Seems like, but well, often I'm just like not with that one person the whole time. But I've literally been head over heels for one person half my life. So I think when I realized that I was worth more and that I needed more and that I am enough for somebody, then yeah, I realized that. Yeah. I'm worth it. My self-worth is important to not get back off into something that is not beneficial, not only to me, but to both of us. I don't want to be selfish, but, I'm, I, but I do know that my self-worth now deserves better. Therefore, I do know. But like I said, I'm still working on my self-worth. Well, the meaning of it, like, what does it mean to me? But, anyway, no, you know what? I think I'm going to look up exactly what that is really trying to say. Let's do that. Because I want to answer the question right. Oh, shout out to Ace of Spade because I know they're going to watch this video because they watch all of my videos and I feel like they're my biggest fan. <laughs> I don't know why the person reminds me of somebody though. And if I ever find that who you are, hopefully you're really just a fan and hopefully you're just not somebody that's supporting me that I already know, which is not a problem, but it would be nice to know who you are.
Oh y'all. Oh yeah, this video finna be uh this video finna be over because baby your girl is having a hot flash and it is not nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How to assign self work. Oh, by respecting myself. Okay, now I understand by respecting myself. By not allowing things to happen that I don't want to happen. By taking care of myself. Self-care, of course. Uh, doing things that makes me happy. Yeah. And there you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little, you know, questionnaire. And if you guys want to ask me any questions, then feel free to ask me some questions. I would love to answer them. So, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. Ring that bell means punch it. I mean, tap it so that when I post the video, you'll get it. Yeah. But anyways.